Wallet Trivago. Nice box. Nice packaging. It's got tex texture to it. Texture. Made in China, designed in Germany. Well, that's. That's deceptive. I don't know where to focus. Travando. Uh. One year guarantee. Scan it. Oh. Uh oh, a little mission statement. And an about, you know, how you doing? I thought, uh, I thought when it said accessories, it'd be a little pamphlet of the accessories. Okay. Alright, my new wallet. My other one was donezo. As if she wasn't already interested enough in the vacuums, now I got the Tweety Bird on it. But now she's not attacking it so much, she's just following it around. <laughs> what is it, 12? How cool is this? So I'm just driving on these dirt roads and I pulled into this area that had been logged and there's not much you can drive around in and I was, as I was exiting I see this wrought iron fence and I'm like oh I bet this is like some historical and sure enough it's a little graveyard it sucks it's being overrun by pine trees and you come out here in the truck all these pines down before they take over everything. 1939. How about 1960? Pots, 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 pots. Oh, that's why this is called Pots Cemetery Road. That would be why. You're not supposed to walk on the graves, really, right? I'm totally walking on the graves. Honestly, I don't think they mind now. Pretty sure they're actually dead. Pretty sure they're actually dead. 1899. 18. Well, well, wait. Oh, goddamn. 1885 to 1890. 
five years old. That's why it's probably such a little tiny gravestone. Fuck, little five-year-old kid, that sucks. Corpy Bell. Corpy Bell. This one's so old. Or, I don't know, what I don't know that's sort of so old, but unless that's a fallen over and it's written on the face, there's a there's no name or anything on it. <coughs> Got some over here. I wonder if I bet that rock is a gravestone. This gotta be a kid. No. Maybe. Zoli, Zoli S. Potts, 1890 to 1935, 50 years old, must have been short, it's awfully short, yeah I bet you that rock is marking, yeah because there's an end one, there's one at the end, and there's one, where's it at, there's one at the head, yeah, I bet you that's a grave, yep. Even in here, look. Marker. Marker. You sent it. They're all through here. Those are, oh shit, I'm standing on one. They're in the middle too. Oh fuck, yeah, there is. There's one here. Oh yeah, the whole damn thing is just filled to the brim with bodies. Oh, these are the foot markers for these. Well, hell, you can't help but walk on the goddamn graves in this bitch. Where the fuck else are you supposed to? That sucks. I wonder if there's any pots alive left anymore. You'd think they'd send a kid over to. This is gonna be overrun. Been two years, it's gonna be non existent. Roots are gonna be pushing the bodies up. I digress. So I'm gonna hit it fire. Hit it fire. I'm gonna hit it with fire one or two more times to count for any rising bubbles. But that is the final flood coat. I used an entire gallon of epoxy resin or an entire gallon of hardener and most of it's on the floor but you know I really wanted to I really wanted to get a good flood coat because I kept on when I was half assing it and not wanting to put as much I kept on getting pits where it was not even and I don't think this is going to be dead even but it's going to be a lot better it shouldn't have a whole bunch of pits and pits and divots in it like the other was but yeah I don't know if you can tell but the vast majority of the epoxy is on the plastic I've actually there's a whole whole slew of it under where I folded over so it doesn't run off onto the tile and that's dripping onto the new stuff but yeah so one or two times one or two times one or two more times with fire and then four or five hours it should be hard enough to set back up on the up on the counter and in five to seven days it should be hard enough to drop a sink in and start using. I'm so excited to finally have it done. I mean regardless of what it looks like it's done. <laughs> I'm more epoxy for this counter. I've used two entire jugs on it and the wood and I mean not counting today's price. That's a million dollar counter right now in today's wood prices and probably epoxy prices too but when I bought it they weren't that expensive. So I probably got less than 400 bucks into this counter. Minus the uh, all the minus all the clamps I used to hold it together. That's about six hundred dollars by itself. But those are lifetime. I'll use them forever, or sell them. All right. Okay, this is my laundry area, and uh, it looks pretty dirty and stained, because it is. I mean, I went through, and I wiped everything down, dusties and the old rags, and I got a whole bunch of shit in the trash can in there, and uh, I had to rip out the old dryer. 
original drawer of that hose as it was about shot. And I have every intent, had every intention of, you know, this is going out next week to have the bottom done. That I say going out, like going outside for me to do it, the counter. Coming back in after the bottom's done, then I can lock it in place, drop the sink in, and order my stainless steel coping to go around the edges. So yeah, I still got to work on this side. Excuse the mess. I haven't cleaned up for uh, since last night's activities. But yeah, so the plan was to get the other counter done and then rip all this stuff and do this. Uh, get a new fridge because this one's old and cheap and too small. And then I was going to start working on this area because I want to either build cubbies or put in cabinets. Really, I cannot just, I can't get a freaking decent tripod to save my fucking life. So my plan was to take off this shelf and put in cabinets or cubbies. I'm still going to do that, just not now. i got a washer and dryer coming in about five days. I don't want them sitting on the floor because they're front loads. And I don't want to have to try to lift them later. I want to be a, the dudes just be able to bring them in and drop them in place. But again, I'm about to build a whole giant pedestal and I'll just shim up that back corner and it'll be level and fine. And uh, I'm not going to put down new tile or anything so I'm not going to waste the good tile into the washer. So I'm going to do that. And uh, I'm going to do that. You see, one of the biggest problems you have with not having enough place to not have enough space to do to do work is that is that you don't have enough space to do work. I apologize. Okay, so I'm back from Home Depot, and I had them cut my base and my top there, just so I didn't have to manhandle four by eight plywood sheets. I'm probably losing a little bit of wood this way from not doing it myself, but as you can see, I've got limited space. I mean, I'm still supposed to, I guess I could just chunk all these freaking birdhouses, but some of them were gifts, but we don't have a tree to hang them in now, and I got nowhere to store them. So they've been sitting on this table since, what, those trees broke the end of 2019? So they've been sitting there all through the past year and a half, two years. So yeah, so I got those cut at Home Depot, brought home the rest. Uh, I marked out two of my boards here. That I'm about to cut and then I need for my toe kick and then I need two for the for the width okay so obviously the plans that I'm looking at online I'm adjusting because I have different size stuff right okay so my plans called for me to cut out two and three quarter strips out of plywood which I had marked thusly but uh i then decided that you know i got all these other boards on hand and since i don't have a table saw and i'm gonna have to use my my, my craig my craig skill saw attachment to try to get a straight line i'm like well i already got boards that are pretty straight because they're factory cut and uh you know they're not any worse than i would do so Got these cut out, now we're gonna to try to put them together and form up our, uh, our toe kick. I don't think I need extra braces. This seems pretty sturdy. I think if I was using the smaller, the thinner, the not as not as wide ones, I think I would, but shit. With three quarter inch ply on top, this is gonna be pretty damn strong, so I think we're gonna be good. Okay, so I got my toe kick here. It's toe peak. And I got my back laid down. 
And because I kind of screwed up on the plans, and I didn't read them right, <laughs> I mean, I measured, I measured my inside space that I'm that I need to fill up, and then I looked at some online plans, but the measurements are different. And so, at any rate, like I had planned on this being 15 inches tall. But I already have a pre-cut that's 18 inches, so I'm just going to use 18 inches because that's plenty tall. Because it's not going to be too tall for me because I'm 6'3 and I'm the one that does laundry anyway. So I don't mind an 18 inch uh, high panel. That being said, uh, it's not actually 18 inches. It's like 17. I don't know how. To, I don't know what. 17 and some sixteenths. It's 17 and and two lines between the three quarters and the next mark. So I don't know what that is. It's so many sixteenths. Maybe maybe maybe. Maybe 14 sixteenths, probably. So anyway, that's what it is. But instead of just trying to get 14 sixteenths, I just clamped it and I marked a line. So now I can extend that line. And, uh, and cut it with my track saw. With my fake track saw. I can duplicate the other side. And then I'll be good to go. Alright, that's about perfect. I'll replicate that. And then I'll be done. With the sides and the back, and have the top and the bottom. And I just gotta put on my put it all together and then put in all my trim pieces. And that's why I didn't want to cut strips out of plywood for my uh, toe cake. Because it's just too difficult. It's just too difficult to get it really good. Get a really good nice cut straight. Nice straight cut. I just cut basically right on the line. Not on the line, right on the other side of the line. And give myself, you know, whatever, a sixteenth of an inch to sand off. Okay, sorry, battery died while I was doing that side. I would like to have smaller screws, but unfortunately I just don't have any. And I forgot to get any, so I'm going to use these two inch screws. I mean, as long as I'm careful, it should be fine. Sweet. I don't know, uh, I don't know who, uh, I don't know who gave this girl the idea for the parchment paper, but it's a great idea. So I started with the toe kick, since everything will be built upon this. And as you can see, I didn't have a whole lot of space to work, so I'm using the top of it uh, to work on. And that's why I'm using the parchment paper, just to make sure that the glue doesn't stick to it. And you can see that I'm using the squares just 
all along, all the time, just to make sure that it stays. It sucks. There's definitely a sixteenth of an inch coming out right there if you can sant it and then of course the bottom on this side is 100% flush 100% flush but then here looks like I get that 16 inch 16th of an inch coming off the top so that kind of sucks because that's if it was just on if it was on both sides it wouldn't be that big of a deal because it would even itself out but Hopefully a sixteenth of an inch is not going to make that big of a difference. I just have to sand down a little bit if she ain't, if she ain't done on. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's going to glue up. This is what I need, and I got one left. Son of a gun. Well, I kind of thought it was silly not to just, I mean, I'm, I was doing it the way she was doing it. And I was thinking the whole time, like, well, why wouldn't you just do the, I mean, you could just do the toe kick first because you're doing it all anyway. Or, I mean, you could do it at the same time. There's no reason not to secure this to the back piece probably at the time. out of it, clean up the glue, five screws tomorrow. It is definitely high above the working temperature for glue. <laughs> Too hot, got to move quick. Now, I'd love to get this thing inside somewhere. I don't think that's happening. Because I probably can't even lift it by myself. I definitely got, ain't got nowhere to put it the way it is. What I can do is lay it down on its other side and cover it with the tarp. The best I can do. Okay, that's all I can do till tomorrow.